I'm not threatened by Annie. I just don't want her taking care of my son. She's trying to help. Why are you so upset? Well, Ryan just ambushed me with some plan to let this strange woman take care of Spike. You've been worked up over Annie for weeks. What's really going on here? Well, I hope it's not as bad as you think. Jonathan was in a dark place. It was scary, like he might hurt someone scary. Look, Jonathan does have a violent past, but he's a changed man. He's not a danger to anybody anymore. Yeah, but he has been through one trauma after another. First he lost Lily, and then he had to kill a man to protect her. And now the sister he was closer to more than anyone in the world is gone. That's a lot for anybody. No, it, it's too much. You're gonna be okay, so wait. Hey. Do you spell it with an E? A Y? <laughs> Dress for a disguise? What kind of freak are you? Get out! What kind of freak do you want me to be? So where is Zarf now? Jonathan said something about the Valley Inn. What kind of freaks are you into? <laughs> Boys? Girls? <laughs> Other? How do you like my outfit? One more time. Dude, you murdered my sister. Come, come here! Oh my god. You need to leave. She wants you gone, Jonathan. She what, babe? That is not a she. He. You. You. You sick, psychotic pervert. You're a murderer! God, you don't know what you're talking about! Are you not hearing me? This man, man, right behind you is probably a murderer and probably killed my sister! This is a woman and you need to leave now! Babe! What you want me? me? They me! Let me! Get off me! Now cool it now or I will ram your hand down your throat! Put the gun down. That's the last thing we need, please. Get off of me! I said cool it! Let go! Please just listen to Mr. Madden. It's not me! Madden, it's not me! Relax! Go. Jonathan! Zerk! Get me! I said relax! Get off of me right now! I'm not I moving! I'm gonna be if you don't get off of me! Get off of me! Not until you shut Are your you mouth! Are you okay? Let me go! Shut your mouth, Jonathan! What the hell is going on here? Hey, Sunshine. Getting a jump on the Chandler competition in 07? Let me see. What's this? Is that somebody's hotel room? It's Josh Madden's. If you ever get off, of her again. get off of my bro what, what is going on here? Jonathan charged in here and, and attacks her for no reason. And then he went off on Babe. Really? Well, it looks to me like Jonathan's the one being attacked, so let him up. I'm cool. I'm cool now. Oh, it's okay. You all right? It's all right. You okay? Huh? I didn't... I didn't mean to... to tear your dress. Yeah, I guess you didn't mean to get in Babe's face either. I lost control. I need to take control. I need to find out if Babe's telling the truth. It's the whole reason why Colby set up this operation. Look, Babe's explanation for being in Josh's room sounds pretty reasonable. You don't believe her? I want to. I, I still think that there's hope for Babe, but if she's messing around on me, I need to know. I can't trust her until I'm sure. 
Your wife loves you. Why can't you have faith in that? I do, but not blind faith. This time I'm going with my eyes wide open. Look, I just want you to be happy in your marriage and in your family. Look, I want that too. I wish I could take Fave at her word, but I can't. But she's been out all night. Haven't you heard from her? Yeah, she called to let me know there was some sort of problem with Zarf. But for all I know, she's probably with Josh right now. Everything's okay now. Thank you. You can wait outside. Mrs. Chandler, I think you should leave. Thank you. I appreciate your concern. But I'm not ready to leave yet. You can go. Are you okay? You can go now, too. Not until I know you're safe. Aaron was my friend. And I'm devastated that she's gone. Yeah, we all are. And it's, it's very confusing and it's very disturbing. And I just, if your judgment is off and you've made a mistake. I would never, I would never protect anyone who might have murdered your sister. I know this person inside and out, and you are not looking at a murder, I promise. If you didn't do it, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm very sorry. I don't have what it takes to wear it anyway. We're leaving. You just... Jonathan is very sorry, and he will not be bothering you again. I'm going home. No, you're coming with me. Come on. I warned you to treat my daughter with respect. Uh, Adam, easy. Daddy, this is not Sean's fault. It's Chief Fry's. <sighs> There's my girl. You asked me to come straight over. Is everything okay, Daddy? Well, I just got a very concerned phone call from your mother. She wants you to leave Pine Valley right away. You are the worst liar. Chief Fry totally could have cast a break on the whole drinking and fake IDs. Yo, what's New Year's without champagne? Now, it's not a big deal, but Derek has something against the Chandlers, and so he's using me as an example. At last, a lawyer. Now I can take this poor girl home while you deal with this hoodlum who got her into this. Adam, don't get excited. I'm not here as an attorney. I'm here as a parent, same as you. You didn't ditch Erica to come down here, did you? No, Sean, I didn't have to. She moved back to the Valley Inn. What? But what happened? Let's just keep the focus on you, Sean. Mimi's just as concerned as I am about the fusion murders. And she called, all on her own, to demand that I come live with her in New York. Well, don't act surprised that she decides you should leave Pine Valley until we make an arrest. And Mom didn't decide. You did. Then got her on board. Look, Daddy, I love you for worrying about me, but I'm not going anywhere. You are the only man I love. I know that. It's not about me. It's about Ryan. Okay, well, Ryan is the father of my child. Yeah, no, always will be. His attention used to be focused just on you, and now you're going to have to share a little bit. Ryan doesn't belong to me. He's not mine to share. I just, I don't want to see him get sucked into another one of Annie's crises. What's your problem, man? What are you doing, Zach? Are you trying to get me to admit that I'm jealous, that Annie makes me feel insecure? 
No, I'm not judging you. I just I want you to talk to me, that's all. Tell you my deep, dark secret? I told you mine. My mom died in the way she died. I didn't tell anybody. I couldn't. Not until you. She told me I could trust you and feel safe with you, and I do. What about you? You trust me? You feel safe with me? Hey. Hey. How are, uh, how are Spike and Emma? Um, actually, I was just gonna go check on them. Ryan, I don't like it here. Because it reminds you of Aaron. Which is why this is exactly where we need to be. I never want to go back there again, that fantasy land where I think my life isn't as great as it is. Now, babe had an affair, and I know the damage that that can do. But don't you think putting a camera in Josh's room is a little extreme? I hope the footage comes up empty. I want to trust Babe again, all the way. But I can't have a future with her until I know Josh is in the past. Nurse Kiefer reporting for acupuncture duty, sir. And we brought our super special magic bag. Oh, looks like you brought a special friend, too. Dixie, JR, this is Kathy. Kathy's parents were in a car accident, and so she's been hanging out with us and oh. staying at Wildwind. Well, hi, Cassie. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> While Julia works her magic on JR, Kathy's going to have a play date with little Adam. Oh, wow. Well, that's a great idea. This is a great place to play. There's lots of toys and games and crayons. Do you like to draw? Me too. Ready to have some fun? Can you play too? Go ahead. <laughs> um... This is going to take a little while. We'll, we'll talk after I'm done. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's go have some fun. <laughs> Sean, what the hell were you thinking? These are serious charges you're facing. Yeah, I kind of feared as much when we were arrested and booked. But, you know, spending the night behind bars really, really drove it home. Well, now that we've established my night sucked, uh, how was yours? We need you for processing. Let's go. Daddy! It's all right, sweetheart. I will take care of everything. And I will see you in court. How long before you can get him out of here? I have no intention of bailing Sean out. Oh, come on, Jackson. He's a no-good punk, but he is family. You're not going to just leave him here in jail. Yes, I am. I think it's about time he starts to deal with the consequences of his actions. Well, amen and hallelujah to that. You need to leave. Not until I talk to Zorf. It's important. What? Do you think I'm a murderer too? You know, you... You pulled a real number on Bianca. She's hurt and confused. She doesn't know what to think. If this is really none of your business... I want to know if what you told her in private is for real. Or if you're just trying to make a play to get in her pants. It matters anymore. Are you transgender? Are you transitioning from male to female? 
Who am I? What am I? Am I transitioning? So many questions. Bianca deserves answers. <laughs> By all means. What do you see? Beneath the robe. It's okay, Josh is leaving. Please. Beneath the slinky slip and the sexy bra. What do you see? You have to do this. Beneath the smudged eye makeup and the smeared lipstick. You see stubble? An Adam's apple? <laughs> Big masculine hands? Is there any sign left that I am female? Look at me! There's no woman here, is there? She's gone. Every part of her destroyed. Who am I? What am I? Isn't it obvious? I have a penis. I'm a man. I didn't believe it. Coming from David Hayward, it had to be a lie. David Hayward, huh? What made you change your mind? Annie. At Thanksgiving, she told me that she was impregnated at a fertility clinic by an anonymous donor. I understand what you're going through, John. Why is this happening? I don't know. But we're gonna find out. It's just that... It, every day... You wake up... And for the first few seconds, everything's okay. And then it hits you. She's gone. not possible. That's just what I kept telling myself. But then Josh took a sample and did the DNA test for me. Emma is Ryan's child. Mm. And you decided Ryan should never know. It happens to me every day. I've been walking down the street and I'll see a flash red hair or I'll hear a familiar laugh or something and I'll turn around fully expecting to see him. But I don't. Because she's gone. She's gone and I'm never going to see her again. Right. I see her in my dreams. I do. I, I see her in my dreams and she's so full of life and I just, I try to hang on to her for a few more seconds, you know, just... Just a little more time. But it doesn't work. Because I wake up, and when I do, she's still gone. Stop it. Stop it. All right. I don't. I can't. I... John. I just want you to remember her. I just want you to remember her here. You know, with me. Where her clothes are still hung in the closet and, 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 and her coffee mug is still in the closet. I can't. Okay? John. I know how much it hurts. It's like a punch in the face. The judge said that Emma was Ryan's child. Like... Something precious had been stolen from me and my son. 
Aaron was stolen from us. And the pain is unimaginable. But the anger at the monster who took her from us is so much bigger. But the tricky thing about anger is it can really mess with your mind. It's not your mind, Ryan. It's my mind that you're worried about. It's your anger that I'm worried about, Jonathan. So am I. So am I. I. I went off on Derek Fry. I went off on Aiden. I went off on Annie. And I think I scared them. Nobody blames really bad. Nobody blames you for that. The way they looked at me. The way they looked at me, it was just like when... But it's not. It's not. So what does Jonathan, that mean? Man, you're raging inside. You're raging. You have all this anger. I am too. I am I am raging. It's okay to feel it. You have to feel it. But we can't give in to it. We can't give in to it. You have to find a way to channel it into something positive like... I don't know, like, like go to the gym and work the heavy bag for a few rounds or go build something, help the Miranda say something positive. That's just wasted time. That's what Aaron would want. It's the right way, Jonathan, you know that. Don't give in to the rage, man. And we're going off on strangers, even the strangest of strangers like Zarf. There's really no evidence that he did anything wrong. Why don't you lie down and rest for a while? Rest? Male icons can't rest. They're too busy fulfilling every woman's fantasy and putting on an act to blow every man's mind. Stay away from Bianca. <sighs> and babe. Will you come with me? I'm not going anywhere. You were making a mistake. I have made a lot of mistakes in my life, and this is not one of them. <sighs> Are you okay? Talk to me. There's nothing you can do for me now. I'm here. To help in any way that I can. And I really hope to see you again soon, Zoe. your physical therapist at the hospital she said that you've been working very hard almost too hard what, so what am i supposed to slack off no but there's no rush and if you overdo you could just prolong your recovery i just want you to get better julia hey are you okay where did you go i'm sorry i just was thinking about kathy Her father's dead and she doesn't know yet. Her mother's just barely hanging on. You think her mother's gonna make it? It's touch and go. Girls are wacky, huh, little A? <laughs> Those are the best. Oh, they're just stalling because they know our creature totally blows theirs out of the water. No way, Jose. Our creature totally rocks. Okay, fine. They both rock. Hey, Kathy, why don't we take your creature and show it to your mother? 
My mommy is sick. I think I'm on the trick. Hey. Yeah. Why don't we make your mommy a card? Sweetheart, that's preposterous. I'm not going to leave my daughter here. You need to stop making excuses for that girl and start teaching her what's right. By abandoning her? By holding her accountable for her actions. You keep cleaning up Colby's messes, sending her a message that she can get away with anything, there'll be no turning back. You're exaggerating. No, you're creating a monster. That girl's going to be a monster for the rest of her life. I know that. Thanks. I hope you're not upset with me for sending Ryan after you. No. I'm glad that you did. And listen, Ed. I'm so sorry. No, no, I, I understand. Thank you. Okay. Do you think Jonathan's okay? Hello? Yeah, there's been a development in the fusion murders. I need you down here now. How do you feel? It always helps. Will you take my advice? Try to relax? That depends on whether I have anything to stress about. <laughs> you know, I recommend play dates. It's a great way to chill out. In fact, I think I'm going to go and join one upstairs. Thanks, Julia. Sure. How was your shift? Busy, sir. Did you do what I asked and keep an eye out for Josh Madden? Yes, sir, I did. There was a lot of him to see. Just now, when I got off from my shift, he was standing with Mrs. Chandler outside that rock star's hotel room. They were together at the Valley Inn. They were together at midnight, too. Josh was at confusion. Josh Madden and your wife rang in the New Year with one hell of a kiss. That kiss meant nothing. That's a lie, and we both know it. That kiss told me everything I need to know. It's still there, babe. So. I'm not playing nice anymore. I'm not holding back. I'm fighting for you, and I'm not going to stop. You really need to stop protecting me. Stop, stop following me. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even want to know that you exist. Just stay away from Sarf, all right? I don't trust that guy. I can't believe they just left us here. Did you see the look on Uncle Jack's face? He officially hates me. They would probably leave us here forever if they could. Yeah, it teaches a valuable lesson about responsibility. Crystal finally convinced my dad to get rid of me. We're in nothing but trouble. They really want us gone, huh? Okay, fine. We'll leave. So next time you take a road trip, count me in. <clears throat> this is Julia. I'll be right there. I'm just taking a turn for the worse. Hey, Kathy, honey, Auntie Julia has to come back to you work for a little while, okay? So, just enjoy your play day. But it doesn't have her eyes. It doesn't have her eyes. Hey, Barry, it's J.R. Chandler. 
listen, put your other cases on hold and tell me exactly what evidence I need to wipe out any prior agreements and win sole custody of my son. resolution to recycle the trash. Don't make me break it already. I love Babe. To hell with Ryan and his kid. How do we make this happen? Derek, call you? Yeah. So to meet him down here, something about the fusion murders. Well, that's kind of strange, isn't it? Living the two of us in Uh huh. Where is he? It's not a waste uh, of time. I'm like leaving Kendall with the bodyguard. Hey, I want to. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for uh, for backing me up about protecting Spike. I know that probably wasn't easy for you. All right. I take care of the people you love. I get that. Spike and Kendall, obviously, both of them. I mean, I hate the idea of separating them. But if the killer really is trying to send you a message, he shouldn't be with us right now. Plus, he's your boy. I couldn't imagine a life without him. I mean, I don't want to miss out on a minute with my child. What? What is it? What's wrong? Okay, we got milk, no sugar for Hank, and no milk, extra sugar for Lance. Uh, good memory. So I'm just going to finish up my work in here, and when I'm done, we'll head back over to my Aunt Olivia's. Hank will be right outside the store. I'll be around the back. All right. Thanks, guys. Kendall's so bent out of shape about Andy. The smart guy figured it out. Don't even think about threatening me. You really should be nicer to me. Why? Because with very little effort, I could be calling you mom. 